Welcome back to Crystal Clear on the Roundtable. I'm Audric Fox, and what's up with Bismuth? I've been thinking about everything Steven Universe lately. What direction this show is going to go from here? Not just with Steven and the Diamonds, their current situation on Homeworld, but the rest of the Crystal Gems. The ones that don't get the spotlight nearly as much as they should. I'm of course talking about Bismuth, Peridot, and Lapis. Right now, Peridot and Lapis are poofed, Bismuth watching over their gemstones, but what does the future have in store for them? What's going to be their higher purpose? Yeah, it was incredible watching them participate in the battle against Blue Diamond, but I don't want them to just be out of sight, out of mind. Which is a really nasty habit the show has picked up over the years. Before we dive in, I just want to remind everyone that we put a bunch of designs back up on our Teespring due to popular demand. I'm always feeling blue, the Diamond Crashers, Plan of Attack, Bingo Bongo, Roundtable Black and Blue, Retro Primo, and so much more. Check them out before they're gone. Link in the description. Also, special thanks to Mike Hat SU for once again creating an awesome thumbnail. Seriously, this guy is going to go somewhere. I'm glad to call him a friend, and I'm glad that he's working with the channel. You can find him on Twitter at MyCatSU or on Tumblr at VintageCatSU. Last week, I already talked about Lapis Lazuli. Now that she's gotten past her grudge and reluctance to fight alongside the Crystal Gems, she'll now have to work past her trauma and grudge against the Diamonds. And if you missed that video, please check it out. With Bismuth and Peridot's future, I actually decided to talk about them together because I feel as if they go hand in hand. One of the highlights of Reunited was the chemistry between the two. The episode definitely set out to establish a friendship, which gave me great relief because in Made of Honor, I was worried that Peridot being all about herself at the end may have indicated that her and Business may not get along well, but it's the exact opposite. And I feel as if that was intentional. Bismuth and Peridot are both very innovative. That alone has them complement one another nicely. Bismuth makes weapons and Peridot makes gadgets. Together, the two could be unstoppable and serve great relevance to the story, to Steven. Some of you may be aware that I'm not really satisfied with Peridot's involvement in the story as of late. In fact, we're over 150 episodes deep, yet Peridot and Lapis have never uttered the name Pink Diamond, despite Pink Diamond being the catalyst to their battle with Blue Diamond. And, you know, the entire series. Now that the secret's out, Rose Quartz is Pink Diamond, and by extension, Steven is the new Pink Diamond, how can we bring Peridot to the fold of the story and continue the development of Bismuth? As I'm sure there's still a lot of unaddressed feelings between everybody concerning Rose Quartz. Well, remember what Bismuth said in her debut? She informed Steven he does not have to be Rose Quartz. He can be someone better. This sentiment made a great impact on Steven, but now Bismuth can further that narrative. Steven is still without a proper weapon of his own. He inherited his shield from his mother, and Rose Quartz's sword was shattered by Blue Diamond. Although that was more of Connie's weapon than anything, which I'm sure Bismuth was unaware of. I think we can safely assume Bismuth will make Connie a new sword, but what about Steven? As someone who bears Pink Diamond's gemstone, he has so much untapped potential that I believe only an alliance between Peridot and Bismuth could awaken. Stay with me now. Steven has had trouble getting a grip on his powers since day one, and while his control has greatly improved over the course of the series, I mean, he was phenomenal and reunited, how many abilities has he yet to discover? After all, we barely seen Pink Diamond in action, and up until Reunited, we had no idea how Blue Diamond would fare in physical combat, and clearly as Rose Quartz, Pink Diamond couldn't go all out or her cover would have been blown. Everything we've seen so far with Steven has been a variation of Rose Quartz's powers, not Pink Diamond's. But we also know Steven can overexert himself. Just look at episodes such as Kiki's Pizza Delivery Service or Friendship. Sure, he can get better with time, but he needs a little push. Bismuth being a blacksmith, she excels at swords, shields, armor, and so much more. While Peridot can create gadgets, she's created her own drones. She's created a mech suit. And while I don't think fusion is in the cards between Business and Peridot anytime soon, could you imagine how greatly the two could benefit Steven? Now, since Bismuth is back, it appears as if, at least during significant battles, the Crystal Gems will break out their weapon upgrades. But Steven's missing an upgrade, and his shield still possesses the emblem of Rose Quartz. Not only do I believe Bismuth could change the design of his shield. Perhaps she can even try to upgrade it to be stronger than ever. Although I'm not sure how you can make the shield of a diamond even stronger, but plot convenience, am I right? Don't think about it too hard. Not only that, 
The meat and potatoes of this theory is that I believe Biziv and Peridot could develop some kind of technology to help Steven gain better control of his powers. Needless to say, jeans and the star shirt isn't exactly battle material. How cool would it be if Biziv and Peridot made some sort of suit Steven could wear? Something that possesses the color scheme and star of his original outfit, and we would certainly see his original outfit around in Townie episodes, but whenever he embarks on missions, he dons this suit that aids him in utilizing his powers a lot more efficiently. I don't believe we've ever seen this kind of tech on a gem, aside from maybe Paradox Lemon Hansers. But Steven isn't just a gem, he's half organic. And Steven being a gem hybrid has never really been explored beyond the concept of morality. It's always been philosophical. I mean, yeah, they explored his struggles as shapeshift his conflict with physically aging. But is he stronger or weaker because he's organic? Unlike the gems, we see Steven can get tired and needs to sleep. And now that he has two geniuses just laying around, now would be the perfect time to explore that. And as the universe gets bigger, the threats get stronger, the more dangerous these adventures get, it'd be weird for Bismuth not to make anything. To just sit back and be like, ah, oh, nah, he's fine like that. For Bismuth and Peridot to understand more about Pink Diamond, but in a way that's meaningful to the characters and their occupations, they would have to delve deeper into Steven. What makes him tick? How can we have him maximize his full potential? And this could also set up some juicy storylines with Lapis. If Bizzard and Paradise spending all their time together, making weapons together, making things to aid Steven, she could feel left out and lonely, as if she's being, well, replaced, just as she's finally found her purpose in the world. Or maybe she won't envy Bizzard and Paradise at all, and instead, we could see Lapis hanging out with other gems such as Amethyst or even Pearl. Wouldn't that be something? <sighs> but as always, these are just my thoughts and I want to hear yours. Do you believe Business and Paradise should work together? Why or why not? Let us know in the comments below or tweet your thoughts to me at AltricVots or at RoundtableVids. If you went up the Roundtable Grow, support us on Patreon. Get access to exclusive perks and have your name featured at the end of the video. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please order to like, share, and if you're new here, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications to stay in the loop with all things Steven. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Ostrich Vox, out. <laughs>